Okay, so I'm going to talk briefly about uh, how to actually upload your uh, data to us. Uh, we've recently changed uh, some things, so uh, please report uh, anything that's not working as well. So a bit of a plea. Okay, so just to give you some sort of context, what we're actually asking for is just a bunch of files. So uh, uh, there's a, a picture here to sort of orientate us. We have uh, some data, a set of data files, but we'd also like some metadata uh, to, to aid discovery, the things Wendy was talking about with the catalogue. And what we'd actually like is that those to be submitted at the same time. We have a few methods to uh, submit the data. I'm going to show, uh, go through some like screenshots of our sort of web interface. Um, but you can also uh, submit data via FTP and RSync. So those are much more useful for the larger data sets. Once it gets here, it arrives in an arrivals area and then it gets checked over before it gets uh, put in the archive. So, uh, number one screenshot, the, the, uh, the uh, address at the top is arrivals.cedar.ac.uk. So this is the front page of our web-based service. Um, you, even if we are going to submit data via FTP and RSync, you will have to come here first because uh, there's a, there is a, a short sign-up process. Um, in the top right-hand corner, you can see a sign-in bit. Uh, and uh, the thing I've highlighted on the, um, in the middle of the page there is a step-by-step -step guide. So there is, there is documentation if you get stuck. So first thing you have to do is sign up. So I'm not going to go through the sign up of the CEDAR archive, um, but it's a, uh, essentially just make an account and so it enables you to sign in. Once you arrive back and you have signed in, you'll be uh, presented with a deposit agreement to kind of click through. Uh, this is mostly about saying uh, a, a few um, uh, overarching statements about the data so it gives it, it when you give us data the data is still yours as the depositor as the creator um, but uh, the we, we do need certain rights so that we can transfer it to different media back it up uh, change uh, uh, catalog it and and distribute it with the appropriate license um, once you've signed up uh, the first screen you get to is to th this one. Now, this is basically the web-based system says, okay, it, this, this route, if you're going to just give us this data, um, it's suitable for some things but not others. So one other thing, uh, it's suitable for one-off donations of a certain size where it, it's the appropriate data. But if it fits outside of these bounds, then you can just talk to us and we'll, we'll see here. Uh, what we should be doing with it. So don't let that constrict us too much, just, it just means that we'll need to hear from you first. Um, next step is basically there's a new delivery button there, so we're going to create a delivery, so by clicking on that button it takes you to a page which asks you to give it a, a simple name that we can put in, a, 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 as make as a directory in our archive. Um, the next stage is to actually upload some files. There's two buttons highlighted here. One is a, uh, a simple web-based thing, so you, say you choose some files, press the upload button, and the, the files get through. Uh, the other button there is, is, gives you some information about uh, access to the other things like FTP and RSync. So if I click the upload button, if I choose this bunch of files, I won't go through what those actually are, but uh, and upload, it lists the files that you've uploaded. It gives you certain things that you might want to do with this set of files as well. So the buttons on the right hand side, there's like a dustbin and a, and a edit sort of pen thing. And that's uh, to change the file name or delete that file if you've uploaded one that you didn't actually want to go in. The other buttons at the top give us various options for tidying up things. So removing uh, empty directories, removing empty files that we sometimes get, and correcting bad names. So bad names, what I mean by bad names is those file names which have 
characters which can be interpreted by the operating various operating systems to mean uh, special things. So a file with an ampersand in is probably a bad idea. So it's we try and screen those out. The next thing to do is press the check delivery button. So this is once you decide you're going to submit this. Uh, and what you'd actually get in this case is it, it would uh, say, um, uh, it said, okay, here is your submission, but we've detected that you haven't added that metadata.yaml uh, file. That's just a text file which is going to contain our information. So I'll put one of those in. I'm going to, there's various ways to do this. You can edit an example by hand, but a, we do supply a tool which enables you to just fill in boxes and then uh, create that file to be uploaded. So uh, I'll put a link to that later. Um, here's an example of what that creates. It's, uh, it's basically a key value pair kind of um, uh, file format. Um, it gives us a, a good indication of like what's there. And we, we're asking you to always call it a metadata.yaml. And I've uploaded that into that set of files. At which point I can then press the, uh, if I go back to the same bit I was on before, I can click the confirm submission. There's a bit of a reminder there of the things you're kind of signing up to uh, when you're doing it. And then if you click through that, it'll just say thanks for the data set. And then you can go back and submit another one if you want. So what happens after that? So it's a, a key uh, thing that we do is we, somebody will look at this data. It's not automatically uh, put in the archive. Uh, the, uh, somebody here will check that the title makes sense, that it has the right information. And if we do need some extra information, we will get back to you and ask for it. Uh, and eventually it will go in the archive and appear as a record. So that's the record Wendy showed earlier, and that's what it will look like. And you should be able to download all your data. So the links, there's a, a few links there. There's one to the actual arrival service. The, the middle one there is the, there's the, this tool to create those metadata.yaml files, and the bottom one is the step-by-step -step guide. Okay, so that's the end of this. Uh, with the things we've covered, we've, we've talked about who we are briefly and why we're doing this. Uh, Wendy talked about data management planning, and then she went on to talk about metadata uh, and metadata uh, and what that might look like. Alison talked about uh, some some of our preferred formats, and I've, I've talked about uh, uh, submitting this stuff. Um, we're going to put this uh, presentation on the web at some uh, point as well, so you should be able to come back and watch this again if you want to. Um, so, questions. So, Poppy's going to ask us some questions that you've emailed in. Um, so there's only actually one, which is, are we going to share this presentation afterwards? And you've just answered that. Okay. So, yeah. Okay. So the only other thing is, please don't forget to fill in the feedback form, which you should have been sent at 11 o'clock today. Okay. Excellent. So thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay. okay. Thank, thank you. you.